Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. <clears throat> Make certain I got the microphone where it needs to be first. Technology is an important part of the thing here, rather than doing pantomime weather. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Again, a quiet evening in the Mid-South area. A few rumbles of thunder, not out of the question as we go into the rest of the evening. And there is going to be that possibility of maybe some flash flooding from some of the heavier amounts of rainfall out across the Mid-South. We are seeing, again, little, if anything, going on right now. Looks like Middle Tennessee is getting the best possibility of anything involving huge amounts of rainfall for the time being that could be a bit of a threat overnight, but we will continue to watch that as we go into the rest of the evening. If you've never been here before, this is our online video weather blog magazine, whatever you want to call it. Drop your location, and if you've got any weather reports out there, let's see what you got. Rainfall amounts. Uh, visibility, cloud cover, temperature, wind speed, direction, anything like that. We'd love to see a little bit of amateur meteorology going on. And if you got any weather pictures, didn't get too many of them this weekend, so we won't be featuring too many of them tonight. But we'd love to share your pictures around the Mid-South or from points beyond. So please drop us a line and let us know more about that, and I'll feature them on our social media networks as well. Again, if you've never joined us before, welcome to the show. If you can't stick around for the whole thing, forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen, or you can get Get all the information you need here at WREG.com slash weather. Coming up in just a bit, a look at the into the week forecast, including a peek at the forecast for tomorrow morning for the kids heading for the school bus stop. And we'll take a look at what's going on in the tropics. And we got a lot going on in the tropics. Nothing immediate or major yet, but definitely wants to a uh, good idea to pay attention to what's going on out there, especially for the Carolinas. Not good news for what's happening with the ghost of Florence moving on through the area. Thanks, everybody, for checking in for tonight and stopping on by. Tony Garcia O'Bannon, Corinth, light rain reported there. Thank you very much for that one. Lawrence, Michigan, 57 degrees. Tony Teal, hope I'm saying that correct. Thank you very much for that one. Justin James, think you could make it stop raining. Uh, I'm in PR, management's upstairs, but thank you for thinking of me on that. I do appreciate that. Tyrell McMahon, 73 from KX4MQ, KG4GKE, also says... Uh, 73 ham radio talk. That nice to have a fellow amateur radio operator on here for right now. Rain, rain, go away. Wife doesn't like the rain. Kenneth Sims. Okay, thank you very much for that one on there. Temperatures in the mid south again, maybe falling a degree or two overnight, but really not seeing that much in the way of changes. But important reason why, and that's where we're going to be seeing the winds tonight slowly turn their way back out of the southeast. That's important because instead of those cooling northeasterly breezes, winds are going to start start coming back up out of the Gulf of Mexico. That's going to increase our humidity. That's also going to increase our possibility of showers and thunderstorms, and it's going to do a number on our temperatures into the next couple of days. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit, but again, looking at a wet start to the weekend. Currently in the Mid-South, again, we didn't pick up too much at Memphis International Airport yesterday, two-tenths of an inch plus. Today, one-third of an inch exactly, and that takes us up over eight inches of rainfall for the entire year. So doing very good on rain, just enough rain to settle the pollen and a lot of the soot in the atmosphere from the fires out west. 78 degrees, back to 83. This is our normal temperature for highs at this time of the year, and a little bit above normal on the low temperatures as well. 67 reported this morning at Memphis International Airport. Still some drizzle coming down. You can see some speckles of rain popping up on the camera lens at I-240 in Poplar. Memfix 4 construction this weekend around the area of 240 in Poplar wrapped up early this weekend, so all lanes open in all direction and will not be a problem for getting it done by tomorrow morning around the rush hour beginning time of roughly about 6 o'clock. So Main thing for tonight, good amount of spray being kicked up by some of the vehicles out there, and you can also see, again, the headlights being reflected quite nicely in the roadway surfaces. So once again tonight, and especially tomorrow morning, a very good time to slow it down, less speed, more space between you and the vehicle in front of you. If you don't do that, if you take that curve too sharp and you skid out because of all that rainfall out there, it's going to lead to a lot of dull, boring conversations with your insurance agent, and nobody wants that. So slow it down. Take it easy across the area for tonight. Downtown Memphis, a little hazy, some patchy light rain, mist, and fog. Looking back toward the Hernando de Soto Bridge, the Mississippi River, and Mud Island Amphitheater out there in the darkness for tonight. Rest of the area, again, showing a few speckles of rainfall, but really just not much more than that. Tiffany Rustin, 72, rainy in Salisbury, Tennessee. Thank you very much 
uh, for that one. Kimberly Newsom, I'm going to start building an arc. I believe Home Depot has a sale on gopher wood at uh, probably a few dollars a cubit, so you can give that a try if you want to give uh, uh, arc building a shot there. Uh, anybody else? Soggy in Panola County, Pam Nash, thank you very much for that one. Still raining in Covington, Maggie Landry, thank you very much uh, for that one. And six inches of rain in Bolivar since Friday, Barbara Grant. Wow, okay, yeah, picking up some pretty good uh, rainfall there. We filtered out the very light rainfall and just given you the more intense areas of rainfall for tonight, most of which is in West Tennessee. A few light sprinkles in eastern Arkansas on Storm Tracker 3S radar, but otherwise not really looking at too much at this time. North of the Mississippi state line, all the way back up to around Dyersburg, and on either side of I-40, more showers moving into western middle Tennessee for right now. Northern Mississippi, light scattered showers. There have been a few thunderstorms out there tonight, but otherwise just plain rainfall pretty much from South Haven and Horn Lake all the way down, almost all the way to Jackson. So if you're traveling south tonight or know anybody who's heading northward on I-55, could be some slow going out there with plenty of rainfall across the area. We've got a stationary front draped across portions of the Mid-South, and that's what's responsible for giving us all this rainfall. Now, we could use some at this time of the year to help settle the pollen, but unfortunately there's a lot of harvesting going on at this time, so that's really not going to be great news for anybody out in the field for right now. So we look for some drier conditions out there, hopefully in the next couple of days, but not immediately, unfortunately. Billy Lightning, Batesville, Mississippi, 74. Thank you very much for that one. Blytheville, Arkansas, Karen Bogan, rainfall in that area for right now. Margaret Faulkner in Cordova, don't think it's raining. If it is, I can't hear it. Yeah, it's kind of light scattered showers for the most part. Not really just too much more than that at this point in time. Marion Hue Huey Taylor, just glad it's not 95 with a heat index of God help us all. That's a measurement I haven't heard before. Thank you very much for that one. But as of right now, we may be looking at some warmer temperatures, but not necessarily at least anything hot anytime soon. More on that in just a little bit. Rest of the evening, again, these spotty sprinkles, showers, and thunderstorms will be continuing right on in through daybreak tomorrow. And that that means, again, for the kids heading off to school, you're going to need some rain protection in the morning. So you're getting the backpack ready to go, setting it by the door, ready to walk out tomorrow morning. Some rain protection would be a good idea, not only to school, but as the kids get on the car and the bus rider lines heading home from school tomorrow, there will be even more chances of rainfall coming on through. And again, those wet roadways for the commute back home for you as well. Chances of rain will be more speckly than anything else, but there will be chances of showers and thunderstorms storms right on into early Tuesday morning. And then finally trying to get rid of some of the rainfall by the time we work our way into about midweek or so. Now this tomorrow is going to be about as close to normal as you can possibly get. Lower 80s with showers and thunderstorms out across the Mid-South. Possible at just about any point in time. I don't think it's going to be a total coverage washout for outdoor activities, but anything going on, football, soccer practice after school, marching band practice out there in the parking lot or the field or wherever, you're going to have this to deal with as well. Not to mention some warmer conditions out there is that storm system coming through that's going to give us this rainfall pushes the air out of the southeast and that's why we have the warmer temperatures coming up next few days after midweek Temperatures chilled just a little bit, not exactly jacket weather, unfortunately, but mid-70s, at least as we go through Thursday. Toward about Friday, an isolated chance of a shower or thunderstorm, not much of one, so hopefully Friday night football looks pretty good at this point in time. And then as we go throughout the course of the next several days afterwards, we're going to be looking at a potential of some areas of showers and thunderstorms coming up. It does not look like much, but unfortunately it doesn't get totally out of the forecast anytime soon for the time being for right now. Rossier Harris Rudd clearing skies in Tupelo. Thank you very much for that one. April Hint, 72 rainy in Eureka Springs. Thank you very much. Uh, Felisa Jenkins, definitely uh, very good sentiment right there. Bring on the cold weather. Uh, looking forward to that for right now. Uh, Charles Edward Stanton getting cool in Milwaukee, maybe in the low 30s this week. Yeah, I've heard there's some uh, patchy frost advisories up and around that particular location, so not going to be seeing too much of that anytime soon near here, but it would be nice to see what goes on. Tammy Jones-Willis, yes, keep the umbrella handy. You might just need that at some point in time. All right, into the tropics, and we've got a lot going on here. 
Over the last couple of days, we've gotten several systems going on, none of which are hurricanes, but we do have a couple of tropical storms in the mix. Kirk is just off the African coast, wandering its way to the west. Unfortunately, right now, it's going to be wandering into some fairly dry air and wind shear, winds going s slower at the Earth's surface, faster and in a different direction higher up. Those difference in winds can rip storms like this apart, and this one doesn't look like it's going to be doing too much to help out anytime soon to get it any stronger. Likewise, Tropical Depression number 11 is weak and wandering toward the Windward Islands and back toward possibly around the area of Puerto Rico in the next several days. Farther to the north, a storm system, it's called a subtropical system because it formed outside of the tropics, but it is still a tropical storm, just barely, with winds of about 40 miles per hour. Leslie is the next name storm, and it doesn't have a name yet because it hasn't hit tropical storm status, but what is left of Florence has been curving back around to the south and west and eventually is going to be making its way back to the west. And maybe at this time, depending on what happens, we could be seeing the potential of maybe a new storm system making its way into around the Carolinas, right where the rain does not need to go. Now, these computer models that you see here, all these lines are one computer model's opinion, and they're very well together right off the bat, but then they start to spread out a little bit, showing there's a little bit more uncertainty as we go toward the next couple of days. Either way, it does show the storm system going a little bit closer, possibly making a side swipe motion to around the Carolina coastline. It does not look like a hurricane. It might maybe make tropical storm status, and if it does, it's going to have a different name than Florence. It'll be named probably the M storm coming up, which I believe is Michael. So if you're heading to the Carolinas in the next couple of days, this could be an issue. There's already too much water there draining away, heading out into the Atlantic. So this could be another area to avoid into the course of the next several days. And of course, we'll keep our eyes on everything else. Leslie, wandering out into the Atlantic, not expected to be a threat. Tropical Depression 11 and Kirk should remain just tropical depressions and tropical storms. Not a lot to worry about here, but a lot of activity going on. No questions about that across much of the area. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in. Thanks a lot for the uh, information for tonight on the weather reports out there. Wanda J. Rush, how can you talk so much? Well, 27 years of professional development, and of course, I do like the sound of my own voice, if I do say so myself, and trying to be as modest as possible tonight, but thank you for asking. As we go into around the rest of the area for the forecast for tonight, can't catch it on your computer or your phone, Country 92.5 or Oldies 102.3, and of course, I'll be live with Bob and Josh tomorrow morning on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. That's Monday through Friday, 8 to 10 a.m. Sports Chat Extraordinary. You can catch more. If you can't catch them on air because you're out of the Mid-South, you can listen to them online at TalkBackLiveNetwork.org. My forecast, their sports chat. Lots to listen to with a lot of sports going on in the course of the next several days. So again, keep it tuned to Bob and Josh for more there. Okay, one more time, wrapping things up with your school day forecast into tomorrow. The kids are going to need rain protection and going to need to kind of stay cool out there as we see some temperatures rising into the mid-80s. Plenty of humidity, plenty of heat. Heat indexes tomorrow may be back in the 90s briefly, but unfortunately outdoor activities might be, again, canceled or postponed because of those showers and possibly some thunderstorms out there. Again, not great chances early on, but there could be a problem out there with a few showers and thunderstorms into the morning hours for the kids going to school and coming back home again later on during the afternoon and evening, so please keep that in mind. Coming up in just about a half an hour, join me on my Facebook page. That's at austin.onic at wreg.com. And if you'd like to find out more about that, again, all you have to do is go to my social media web pages, including Twitter and Periscope and Instagram. I'm out there someplace. But we'll be talking about whether where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving in the United States military, we're going to take a quick look at what goes on at some of those locations overseas. And if you've got friends or loved ones in the military and you'd like us to feature their location weather-wise, then we'll do that. But you have to email me. Let me know where they are at austin.onic at wreg. Com. I'd be glad to feature more information uh, on that one. Steve Montgomery, going on vacation to Marrakesh, Africa. Will it be stormy there? Um, 
if you can narrow down a timeline on that, I'll do my best to get you uh, some information uh, on that as well. Sasha Ann Madison, Savannah, Tennessee, Tuesday from Savannah to Nashville. Looks like you're going to have more scattered chances of showers and thunderstorms in and around the Mid-South and into Middle Tennessee as well. Again, doesn't look like a deluge, but it does look like you're going to be winding up with more chances of rainfall out there. So plan for some possible thunderstorms on your way between that location and the Nashville area for uh, right now. Rossier Harris Rudd forecast for the week around Tupelo, Boonville, Mississippi. Again, hot and humid with temperatures back in the mid-80s with showers and thunderstorms. Uh, into and around that area for right now. And thanks to everybody else for checking in for this evening on that. We'll have more forecast information for you coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Kristen Holloway has all the day's news. Megan Rice has a very busy day in sports. And, of course, I'll talk more about the forecast and give you an update on the tropics. And, of course, Todd Demers will be on bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak if you'd like to find out more about what's going on before the kids hit the bus stop in the morning. Corey Ventura will also have probably and unfortunately a a pretty busy traffic report because unfortunately, again, rain and driving in the Mid-South don't seem to mix too well. So definitely want to tune in for tomorrow morning to catch an eye on what's going on there. Live and direct from downtown, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your weekend ending forecast edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. More weather available online at wreg.com weather. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll keep you informed. Thank you very much for joining us.